Hey guys, Harry here. I hope everyone's had a good weekend. I'm out here in the garden, digging a footing out for a retaining wall I'm putting in. Um, it's been something that I've been thinking about doing ever since I, I uh, moved in the house. But we uh, we started grass. I grass seeded one half of my garden, and I realised that after I'd you know prepared all the soil and landscaped it somewhat, it was just still running on too much of an angle and. We weren't happy with like, you know, we couldn't get, you know, deck chairs and tables to sit right on the ground. And we realised that, you know, if I wanted to put my patio in, I want to lay them my flags that I'll have to level the ground out somewhat. So I decided to put this, this retaining wall in at the bottom third of my garden. Uh, it's about, the, 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 you know, the third, you know, it's a third of my garden, this. Um, and I'm going to make this area behind this retaining wall play area for my little boy. And uh, when me and the missus finally have another one, uh, you know, it's going to be a play area for both of them. So it's, uh, <coughs> it's, it's you know, it's going to be, you know, it's a, pro it's a project in a way, but I've got to sort of finish it in, in somewhat decent time frame. So, you know, hopefully I want to be laying the, f the con you know, mixing the concrete for this within the, within about a month or so. And then once I've basically mixed the concrete, then get the block, get the blocks and the bricks, because I'm gonna make it like a, I'm gonna make it like a two skin retaining wall, and I want brick, I want brick on it. Um, it's you know it's gonna be, definitely I'm gonna have it as like a, probably make the footing four fifty deep from where I want the final ground level at the low side, uh, and then obviously have it by about the footing about four hundred wide. Then I'll probably lay a block, couple of blocks, a couple of clinker blocks flat, and then uh, have a block and brick retainer. So I just have one skinner block and then a course of brick back, uh, you know, skinner brick backing it up, and then it'll go to like a two, a two skin nine inch wall at the top, you know, raising about one fifty three hundred from the from the soil level, which we're gonna we're gonna you know keep as grass. For now, until we uh, end up leveling the high side of the retaining wall, uh, then we're probably going to transfer to you know something like astroturf, you know, fake grass, whatever it's called, astroturf. Um, but yeah, it's it's you know it's it's something that you know I'm working on at weekends, just doing a couple hours, not burning myself out on it because it's not worse than having to like you know come home from work and then work again or force your centre work again. So you just got to pace yourself. Um, also. Which I've wanted to speak about for a while. I've been looking at uh, action cams. I've realised that I can get an SD card reader for my iPhone that I'm currently editing on. Um, because I, I'm not really in the position... Uh, well, it's not that I'm not in the position, but I'm not really bothered about buying a new phone or or getting another phone at the moment because this one's sort of working fine. You know, it's got a few cracks on the screen. It's got a few dings actually don't last as long as it used to be but it's great for editing great for watching youtube videos answering comments and stuff and obviously general work use um emails etc i'm using an iphone 8 plus uh i thought might as well uh, splash out get an action cam and then i can use an sd card reader just to transfer my files from my action cam to me to my iphone and then i can get footage on the on the you know on my action cam slash gopro but it's not it's not going to be a gopro and then, basically, I can just mount up some footage, really, and get more sort of footage for voiceovers, different types of videos. I could do some more um, point of view, sort of action cam, pillar builds, corner builds, you know, intricate work. Uh, and you can just see it from first hand how I do it, you know, because you get a lot, you get a bit more of an insight into how I lay the brick when you're seeing it from, you know, first hand point of view, as they call it. It's something that I've wanted to do for a while and I found an action cam for around 75 quid. So uh, in a week or so, because I've got a, a drill and impact driver I got the other week, so I'm not going to get anything this week. And then I've got PlayStation 5 as well that, I'm, uh, that I bought. So uh, I'm going to wait a couple of weeks because I'm not, I'm, not, I'm, not I'm not one of these people who spends more than I earn. So I just wait until I've paid off all my... All my, uh, you know, luxuries before I go and buy anything else. Obviously, I don't make any money off YouTube, so it's all sort of just hobby. It's, you know, it's all my personal hobby stuff at the moment, really. So it's all leisure stuff for myself. So I limit, you know, obviously with, with this to build and obviously, you know, bills, mortgage, etc. You know, you can't just start spending willy-nilly on yourself. 
all the time. So it's going to be something I'm going to get in the next couple of weeks. Um, uh, obviously, when I do get it, uh, I'll be uploading some, be more, be more frequently uploading uh, a mixture of like point of view footage and uh, obviously, you know, camera footage with my iPhone that I've been using, you know, ever since I started the channel. It'll be just a good addition, really. Um, just a good, good addition. I'm about to vary the content a little bit. Um, maybe get me doing a, a few, like, bit of remedial work, show you how to do, like, uh, if you ever get set on a patching job, how to get it done a bit quicker. Um, you know, the, you know, I, I work when I do sort of remedial works, I work on, like, an hourly basis. Um, but, you know, there's some places where, you know, they just want you to give you a price, or oh, I'll give you 100 quid to fucking fix that, or to replace those cells or whatever. I work on an hourly basis. I, I just find that more relaxing, easier. I don't do remedial work on price as such. It's just sort of my out my, you know, the daily cost of the what what, what me and my dad cost per day. You know, that's that's the price. <laughs> so you know, if it's gonna take us a day and a half, that's you know a a day and a half's worth of the price we cost. But it's just one of them things. I'm gonna probably do a detailed video on booking in when it, in the in the coming, uh, months. Um, just because one of the most underrated things that no one talks about on YouTube, how to book in correctly, how to you know itemize all your, uh, you know your plot numbers or you know your measure, itemize you know any any like remedials or any patching or alteration what you've had to do to anything you you know any plot you've had to take over or any work you've come against, you know the the way writing an invoice is some one thing that. You know, a lot of guys who just work self-employed or work on the books as a bricklayer, you know, don't really do a lot of the time effectively. And it can make the difference from your money being right to being wrong. Um, just because you can sometimes word things diff right and not very good. And, you know, explaining, ex you know, booking incorrectly is a massive way to make sure you get your money, you know, correctly. You know, you get paid correctly every week. And as well, communication, I'm going to do another video on that because I've done a video on communication before, but communication, you know, communicating your point to whether it's your supervisor, um, you know, the customer, you know, this is how much, you know, this is how much I'm wanting or this is how much it's going to cost. You know, do you, you know, are you all right with this? You know, are you happy with this price? Are you happy with this? What I'm going to, what I'm going to book in, you know, you've got to get those things straight before, you know, you do, you, you do anything because, I'm a big believer personally of not starting any work until I know the exact price it is because that can determine, you know, if you want to start the job or not. So you won't do it. I always, always like baffles me to be honest. You won't start a private job without finalizing the price first with the customer. So I don't know why you would wouldn't final you know start any price work on a site without finding out the price of the plot first. I always do that, and then if I if I if I look at so I get given a price and I look at I think how long is that going to take me realistically and I, if I think hold on a minute there's something wrong here you know there isn't five days money in it or six days money or whatever then you've got to sort of negotiate and think hold on how can we work around this issue uh, there's a few things I want to talk about in, in depth because there isn't really any any videos on booking in and how to deal with you know the main contractor and stuff on on YouTube so Something I want to go into in detail, uh, a bit more in the coming, uh, in the coming months. It's just when I just want to get, um, you know, some more projects, you know, finished and some more video series is finished first before I go on to that. And I want to wait until I've got a little bit of a bigger following, so I don't have to sort of remake all of these videos again. When, you know, in six, six or seven months' time, if you know I've got double the amount of subscribers and a lot of people don't want to go and watch all videos. And hopefully upping the quality of standard of videos is going to be a name coming up in the near future. Uh, obviously, uh, the eye, the action cam I have got my eyes set on is a bit of a budget one, but um, I don't you know I can see myself upgrading to a you know GoPro Hero Eight or something like a newer version. You know, in the coming years, if if uh, if YouTube takes off, because I I always said if I ever did make any money off YouTube, it'd go straight back into the channel, or or to channel related um activities um but yeah so i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little video a little bit of a different topic but you know it just gives me another something else to talk over and it's obviously britlane related so here's me just you know finish off my little section of grass i've got left 
before I separated my garden. I separated it with like a dirt line and then obviously I've got a trench at the bottom. So this is like, you know, my, my actual usable garden for now. And then the rest of it, um, it's quite big, but the rest of it is, you know, just still soil and stones and weeds. So that's what I've made progress so far. Uh, if you enjoy these sort of style videos with me digging the garden and stuff and, you know, hopefully laying a found concrete foundation in the coming weeks, um, leave us a like and subscribe and I'll be back with some more uh, on-site videos tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.